Hi everyone, William Weiser is here. As you can see, I'm in a different spot in my room to do my message video. The reason why is because I tried to go back to my same spot, but two of the four light bulbs that are in my ceiling fan are dead. And I was trying to find some way where you can see my eyes. But as you just saw, today's the 25th anniversary of one PBS Kids show that Rick is neutral to, but I will always defend because it's a huge part of my childhood. And that is Teletubbies. Congratulations, Teletubbies, on celebrating 25 years. You are a huge part of my childhood. Not the biggest part, but right close to it. I think the biggest part of my childhood was a video series called Special Kids. Because growing up with special needs... That show taught me many different everyday life things, like shapes and colors, the alphabet, numbers and quantities, body parts and grooming, animals, birds and fish, spelling, and let's go to, with many different things in it. So, let's get started with this list. Number one. Booba Story World segment in full screen month starts tomorrow. This is why I'm doing this message video. Here's how this works. The five Boobas will take turns um, pulling out random episodes from a cup that I'm going to present to the Boobas. Now, before that, I'm going to reveal the names of the 30 episodes they're taking part in this month. I'm going to put them all in the cup. Just shake them up. One by one, the boobahs will pull an episode out. And whichever, and whichever episode gets pulled out, that's the episode that I'm doing on that day. This goes on and on and on until the month ends. And why am I doing this? Earlier this month, Rick Rampazzotti told me that... The Boo Zone has uploaded all 93 episodes that we have seen in full screen, including the 30 that I have not done in full screen yet. And I'm going to let you in on a little something. There are a few th things I'm going to be doing in Booba Story World segment in full screen month, like a story drawing of Desert Island, the crowning achievement of Awesome, I said that I might do uh, my voiceover of the musical instrument story world segment because several months ago, Liam Fitzgerald uploaded the instrumental version of musical instruments and a lot of people loved it. So I'm doing it that month and plenty of other things that I'm doing in that month. So I'm going to be busy next month, but it'll be fun, I'm sure. Number two, the Blues Clues and Rick series. This is where things are not going to be as easy for our movie as me and Rick thought they would. This summer, well, well, that's for number three, but I'll get to that in a bit. I've been appearing on a lot of stream yards on Rick Rampazzotti's streaming channel b before spammers cause problems and and I've been doing the the most recent ones on Messenger and all those spammers are going to pay for it um so Rick is doing his own Blue School series because he's a big Blue School fan like me and he's going to be doing his own series with with him pretending to be Steve or Joe and maybe Josh and he's going to use a lot of clue, notebook thinking chair and many different phrases like that so so I'm sure that his series is going to be fun but not as much fun as the thing that I'm going to talk about
Number three. How is this summer going to go? Exactly. This is what me and Rick are struggling with. We thought this was going to be easy, that I can make the movie, or we can make the movie in the summer, and we don't have to, uh, I don't have to worry about going to Heroes Camp this year, but Rick is busy with talking to his friends on StreamYards and Google Meets every day, and doing his, his Blue's Clues and Rick series, He's going to be doing those throughout the entire summer. And I'm just left with nothing for the moment for what to do. I have to tell my parents this. And hopefully they'll help me figure this out. They know how to figure out things more than me or better than me. And I'm sure that, that whatever whatever they feel like is best for me is going to be helpful. But in the fall, we are going to make our long-awaited project. And we're going to work on many different things around it. So so hopefully this summer will, will answer that. And if I don't have an answer for it, GD, help us. That, that that's my way of saying God, cause I, cause I want to be clean here for me saying that. Number four, the disqualified movie cast members. A lot of times, I would say that Mitchell Hodak was a member of the team or the member of the cast for the movie because he wanted to be in it, or or he was asking more about the recurring cast members, and on my last message video, I mentioned him, as well as plenty of other message videos, and on my last message video, I mentioned Cole Burchett. But... On one stream yard, I said that if Mitchell Hodak was in the movie and Rick doesn't want to be anywhere near him, the that whole thing would be up to me, and I would have to decide on how th how this was going to work. But he decided that because Mitch caused drama on Facebook and allowed somebody bad, who I don't want to say, to be one of his friends, Rick, and I decided to say, regrettably, Mitchell Hodak, you are disqualified from being in our movie. As well as Cole Burchett for doing many bad things, including one that I remember the most, where he didn't want to be backstaged or he or he didn't want to leave and Austin Lee gave a very strong explanation on on why uh being backstage or something in the words that he said it is an unhealthy thing to do and he said it better than I could have and also Albert Wiggle Originally, he had Cameron Brosey, who is in this movie, so don't worry about Cameron Brosey. Originally, those two were going to be part of a comedy duo, but then Albert was involved in something bad, or he did something bad, and he's disqualified too. So, so the Booba team has cut shorter. We were going from like 13 or so to down to about, like, at most 10 or something. And I've tried to ask Corey Fox twice to come to Rick's streaming channel so that the two of us can talk to him about our movie, but the past two times I've asked him that, he said no. And this is one of those where I was like, I tried asking Corey this, um, not working. Like Jeremy John's saying, 
we tr to Disney, we tried making villains sympathetic characters and protagonists um not working and me saying that it worked for for one thing because three players could handle the tough material better than I could but in the in the most recent ABC event um not working except for the final episode so uh We'll see who um, makes it out as the final members of the team. And by that, I mean the actual members of the team. That still includes me, Rick, Sophie, Isaiah, Kelly, CQ, and Cameron Brosey. Number five, Donnie's watched this guy's videos of people looking at the camera. Uh, Donnie Bajer and Rick Rampazzotti are working on, watch this guy's videos on Donnie's channel because this is one of those things that, that the ClueTubers love so much that, that, yeah, yeah, they love it, and my, I don't have a love of this, just, it, it just, I respect everybody's opinions on, on this, the Nestle Crunch commercial, and the Joe crying scene from Knights at the Snack Table, but, but in between those two, you have a lot of pictures of people smiling and looking at the camera. Uh, like, for example, you get plenty of Steve pictures from Adventures in Art, Blue's Big Holiday, uh, Blue's Big Treasure Hunt, the one with Steve's grandma, played by the late, played by the late Rue McClanahan from the Golden Girls. Uh, s yeah, some episodes from, from, with, from the Joe hosted episode and well Joe hosted episodes and and some from Blue Schools and You where where Josh meets his grandma and oh and also Thomas uh looking in the camera and smiling from the end of the Boo Boo Choo Choo song uh Ni Hao Kai Lan, I saw that there, and TiVo, and someone from Little Einsteins, and plenty of others that I remember seeing. So sometime sooner I'm going to make my own Watch This Guys video that has the Nestle Crunch commercial, the Boobas looking at the camera for the fifth time, and the Joe crying scene. All of that will be set up on my Watch This Guys video. Thank you very much for watching the first half of this message video. Come back from this break and I will show you uh, part two or I'll talk about numbers six through ten in part two of this message video. See you after the break.